What is good, everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a 2020 to 2021 NBA MVP list. And I'm going to be ranking the top eight candidates. So I just found these top eight on a website. Uh, so I'll just be ranking them, seeing who I think will be MVP, and just seeing where these people rank in the MVP race. All right, number eight, I'm just going to put Steph Curry. I don't... Off of everyone on this list, I think he's going to have the worst season. I don't even think the Warriors are going to be doing that good. So that's why I have him at eight. All right, we're going to be moving up to seven right now. A lot of these players are really good. So let me see who I think should be a seven. Um, at seven right now, I'm just going to put James Harden. I think James Harden will have a great season. I don't know if he'll have like the like a really good season and the Rockets might be doing, might not do that good, but cause sometimes like the MVP race, sometimes like some people might like to look at like team success and player success, not just player success. So sometimes they might want to look at team success. I think James Harden will still have a great season, but that's a reason I have him at number seven. Right, I'm going to be moving up to number six right now. It's kind of tough to rank these six people. These are like the, Six, like, greats in the league right now. Six best people in the league right now. Um, This is kind of hard right now. Um, I actually have no clue who to put. I need to think this through a little bit. Um, uh, This is actually kind of tough. Um... I'm just going to put KD at 6. So my reasoning for KD at 6 is because, you know, he has Kyrie as a teammate. Kyrie likes to have have the ball, uh, handle the ball. And KD's still a great player. He's probably going to put up great stats. The Nets might even win the championship against the Lakers. That would be a great series, and the Nets could even win. But just, like, because of Kyrie, I feel like him and KD aren't going to be like the – I mean, they're still going to – I think they'll be a good fit, but I don't think they'll be, like, the greatest just because I'm pretty sure both of them like to handle the ball, and Kyrie's kind of a selfish player. So that's the reason I have KD at six. He's still a great player. He might be better than some of these. He's probably better than a couple of people who I'm going to rank above him, but because he has Kyrie as a teammate, I'm just going to put him at six. All right, for, for number five, I think I'm going to put – um. I'm going to put, I don't know, actually. Let me just think this through real quick. Um, the two I'm debating right now are between the two Lakers guys. Uh, maybe even Giannis. Oh, uh, this is pretty tough. For now, I'm just going to put Anthony Davis at number five on the MVP list. I feel like, even though... Anthony Davis, he's going to put up great stats. He's probably going to score a lot of points, got a lot of rebounds. I don't know about assists. But I feel like LeBron's going to be doing better than him, and I feel like these other people are going to do better than him this season. All right, the next person I have. So for number four, um, I think I'm going to put Kawhi at number four. Kawhi just got injured. Um I mean, I don't think that's pro really going to impact his play that much, but he's still going to have an amazing season, a godly season. But out of these, I don't think he can be better than LeBron, Luka, or Giannis in the MVP race, so I'm just going to put him at number four. All right, number three. Um... I'm going to put LeBron at number three on the MVP list. The reason I put LeBron here is because I feel like I, I think individual seasons, I think Luka and Giannis, they'll have better individual seasons. I don't think LeBron, like, he might not do, like, I don't even know if he'll play as much as a regular season. I think he's, like, I don't know if he's at uh, – I don't exactly know how to phrase this, but – I feel like he's going to save most of his stuff for the playoffs. I don't think he's going to, like, push as hard in the regular season. He's still probably going to play really good and hard, but 
I don't think he's going to do like as hard as previous season, so I'm just going to put him at the three right for now. All right, the final two. Who do we? All right, at two, uh, most of you guys probably expected this after seeing these two. I got to put Giannis right here, man. You know, he's going to have, he's probably just going to put up godly numbers again like he's been doing the past few seasons, but I feel like Luka is going to just win. I feel like the Mavs are could do could really pop off the season. I feel like they could even make it to the Western Conference Finals if they like start getting hot in the playoffs. And Luca's probably gonna take another leap further, even though he took a big leap from his first season to last season. I think he could take an even way bigger leap this year. All right, number one, the only player left, you guessed it, Luca Doncic. All right, so. I already explained my reason for Luca. I'll just explain it again. So he's he's probably gonna put up great individual stats. He's probably gonna I think he could average close to a triple double. Maybe like 26, 27 points, nine, ten rebounds, and maybe like I don't know how much assists. I don't know. But I feel like he could average close to a triple double. I think a double double he could uh I wouldn't say easily, but he can I think he he can accomplish that. A triple double, maybe, I don't know. But for now I'm gonna have Luke at one. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna go through the list again. So number eight, I put Steph Curry. I just feel like he's not gonna have the best season compared to all these other guys on the list and his team's not gonna do that good. Number seven, I have James Harden. Uh just like Curry, I think he he's not Actually, he could be better than some of the people above him, just like individually, but team stats, I mean, his team's probably not going to do that good. I think the Rockets could actually end up missing out on the playoffs, and Harden, I feel like he's kind of a, I'm not going to say selfish, uh, uh, man, I just, I'll just say selfish. He's probably not the most selfish guy, but he is pretty selfish, uh, and number six, I have KD. You know, he's going to have a great season, but he has to share the ball with Kyrie and a couple other good guards and players. Number five, I got AD. Number four, I had Kawhi. Three, I got the King, LeBron James. Number two, the Greek Freak, Giannis. And number one, Luka Doncic. All right, guys, that was my 2020 to 2021 NBA MVP list. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.